He's one of 10,000 European doctors working in Britain's National Health Service, treating cancer patients at this Oxford hospital. But following the Brexit referendum, Gargan Batnagar from Sweden does not know for sure whether he'll have the right to stay in the UK in the years to come. There's a sense of despair amongst the EU doctors and or EU staff in general that the wider society hasn't actually appreciated their contribution to it. Um, and that's worrying. Everybody would like to feel valued in the society they live in. And if you don't, uh, you lose an incentive to stay. There are 20,000 European nurses, like Delphine from France, who works in a clinic in Essex. She trained in the UK, made a life here, but with no security, is contemplating leaving after 16 years with the NHS. I hold a British uh, diploma. Uh, for nursing, so um, and I know that's convertible within the EU. Whether that will be still convertible later on, I do not know at this stage because we don't know very much. Um, but I definitely already thought that uh, now that Article 50 has been triggered, I need to look into this. The Ministry of Health wouldn't grant us an interview, but they did send us a statement saying that overseas workers play a valuable role in the NHS and that the British government has been clear that it needs to be able to continue to recruit from overseas for those public services which rely on migrant labour. Joanne is a Spanish nurse working in a hospital in the east of England. He argues that the NHS, with more than 20,000 nursing positions it can't fill, is in no position to lose its European workers. We are struggling uh, to produce homegrown nurses, and I'm a clear example. I came here 17 years ago because you were short of nurses, and you're still short of nurses now. And now, on the top of that, Brexit is creating a bigger gap in the market, and that's very, very dangerous at the moment. During the Brexit referendum, the British people were told that a vote to leave the EU could bring hundreds of millions of extra dollars to the NHS every week. There's little talk of that now, but there is a risk of the loss of thousands of dedicated European doctors and nurses. Barnaby Phillips, Al Jazeera, London.